Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, a bit of a different video for me today because, well, for me, it feels different because I am on my own. I don't have a baby with me, I don't have a toddler with me. It's currently, what time is it? Seven o'clock and I have snuck out of the house to Home Bargains and it's a super rainy, grey evening um, and I was a bit tempted to just say, look, Ollie, if you were happy for me to have some time alone to go to the shops, then can I just go and sit in bed and read my book because it's cosy but do you know what if I did that I wouldn't just sit there and let him do it all obviously but yeah there'd be the bedtime routine going on there'd be everything going on so it's quite nice to be out of the house daddy's gonna do bedtime and I am just gonna have a mooch around the shops the main things I actually like need are really boring I need nappy bags <laughs> <laughs> I need colour catchers, <laughs> uh, potentially some washing powder, um, but honestly I just wanted to come and have a mooch. I have been trying to get nappy bags, like our local shop that we tend to do all the time is Aldi and they just haven't had nappy bags in forever so I don't know if they're only in when they're on like a special buy, you know like in the baby event. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so interesting isn't it um but yeah i just thought i would bring you along and maybe show you what they've got in i'm guessing they're gonna have some halloween stuff i've not been to home bargains for ages where we used to live it was literally like a three minute drive from our house now it's like a 20 minute drive um so it's not somewhere i pop like as often um i literally couldn't tell you the last time i went here so i'm excited i don't know how much i'll film but i figured i could show you what i got afterwards i was thinking i might even after i've been here sneak off down the road to starbucks and get myself a little psl frappuccino or like iced version because i don't really drink hot coffee um and just sit and have a chat maybe i don't know we'll see um yeah let's go and see what they got in home bargs whoop, whoop. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe. Just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories The venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget Is dark <laughs> I've driven to a car park because I need to pop into Audi um, but I just thought I would just show you what I got now so please ignore this horrendous lighting I've got like the inside lights and the car on I've got my phone torch on I'm under a street light so there's a lot of dodgy lighting going on but I would rather just kind of get this filmed now otherwise I know what will happen I'll get home Ollie will start unpacking the bags putting things in places and I'll be like Ollie I want to show what I've got and then he'll be like oh 
or oh well no one really wants to see do they and all that <clears throat> maybe you don't <laughs> also that voice i just did for him was way gruffer than he is um but anyway we're filming in this dodgy lighting because i've got my bags here and i want to just show you what i got i actually was really impressed with the things i saw in there um i filmed some clips so you would have seen those already um with a little voiceover hopefully just chatting through some of the stuff um and yeah i picked up some bits for christmas which i didn't into oh there are daddy long legs is everywhere at the minute like everywhere ollie got out like seven last night from our house one just flew at our window which is why i said that i didn't just randomly think of it um but yeah this is going to be in no particular order because i've literally just got bags um so first thing via cow we use this on like our taps and like shower and just you know bathroom stuff um and we have basically run out we're at like the bubbly bit at the end <laughs> when you spray it out like nothing comes out so i picked up a new bottle of that um i don't really remember prices of everything and i'm not gonna like go through the receipt now because i'll be here all night um i got some tissues because we're going into cold and flu season everyone in fact i picked up two boxes of tissues for cold and flu season um i got the beloved nappy sacks now we've got two kids doing poos i mean buzzy probably won't really be in nappies too much longer he's really showing a really keen interest in um potty training he's been using the potty a little bit here and there um but yeah we're starting it all over again with otis so nappy bags they last forever like ollie and i were saying we swear we've only ever bought like one bag of nappy bags or like really not many and we're only just getting through them now so i don't know how they've lasted us so long but we only really use them for pooey nappies is that tmi i don't know anyway i picked up this um and i was thinking for like a stocking filler it says my first vehicle what's it my first vehicle sticker activity case um with three exciting activity books and over a thousand sparkly and puffy stickers this no oh, siren joys of filming in a car park um this awesome kit contains everything you need to have shiny vehicle fun and i just thought this is right up buzz's street if you follow me on instagram or know me in real life or i probably have mentioned it here too buzz is obsessed with cars so yeah that was 2.99 and i thought that would be a good stocking filler another stocking filler busy diggers it's got like wobbly eye stickers um and just like a little activity book they had other activity books in there that seemed a little bit older but these ones actually seem a little bit more oh look there's one there called buzz which if you're new to this channel is my toddler's name um but yeah this one i had a very brief flick through and it seemed a lot more age appropriate for buzz so yeah i got that another stock either stocking filler or just rainy day activity that i'll just have in my collection you know i picked up some of these you know these like eyebrow face razor things this is a pack of three um and i've had some in the past but they have all got blunt and stuff now so yeah i don't use these for my eyebrows i use them for well sometimes I use them for my eyebrows if i've like started doing my makeup and i'm like oh, rubbish like my eyebrows really badly need doing they're a really quick and easy way to tidy them up probably not what you're supposed to do but yeah i've been thinking of doing mm. the old oh derma planing type thing i think that's what it's called again i know some people say to do it professionally but honestly don't have the time to go and get these appointments professionally so i don't know we'll see now it's not like super sunny days because i know i really do notice that when i do it my skin is really sensitive to the sun a lot more so um and i wear spf spf and everything anyway but yeah i definitely notice like the sun getting to my skin more so now we're kind of in autumn i feel a little bit better about doing that and not like wrecking my skin i don't know um i got ollie some haribo monsters zings he loves a haribo that he hasn't seen before even more so a novelty haribo if you will so i grabbed those for him i got this is really interesting i'm sure a service it washing machine cleaner um we just do this every now and again we do use like is it soda crystals 
I think as well um, but yeah I just like to have one of these in so that when the the inspiration strikes me to clean my washing machine I am prepared likewise with the dishwasher dishwasher cleaner that's that's all I've got to say about that really batteries because when you have a toddler or even a baby actually like the baby mat and stuff needs batteries you need batteries a lot of batteries all the time and we are out of AAs and that scares me <laughs> got some smints for the car because our car smints have run out so I'm putting them in the car okay next I got a you know on those things that hangs on your washing line and it's got like little baby pegs on it for like socks and underwear and stuff ours completely fell apart we have had it about a year and a half but I don't know it just completely broke and I really don't know how like once one thing broke it just seemed to just be cracked everywhere so I don't know I bought a new one this was really cheap and seems quite sturdy so hopefully it'll keep our socks and pants secure um I got this felt Christmas tree now I know this will be one that Ollie's like Shan like what are you doing just thought on Buzz's bedroom wall it might be quite cute Christmas tree shape which you can't see on here but Christmas tree shape bauble shapes and stuff and um yeah you just stick them on and I just thought we could do that together um one afternoon maybe when his little bro is napping some mummy and buzzy time and yeah he can live in his bedroom and hopefully he will like it his room's quite small so he won't have room for like a proper tree um and I know he doesn't need a tree in his room but I just think it's special like I feel like this is going to be the first Christmas that he kind of knows what's going on like last year he was almost two and he understood like Santa and he you know ho 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 but when it came to presents and stuff he was happy to get them but he didn't understand it and he also didn't really understand like Father Christmas was coming like that evening and everything else whereas this year I think we can really build up to it and I, I just cannot wait to make it magical for him like as a mum I just it's not about loads of presents it's about the the build up the lead up like the Santa Claus's footprints outside the jingle bells when he's in bed like little things like that but some play-doh now Buzz does have play-doh um but it's about I was gonna say two years old but probably not that old but pretty old maybe like 18 months old it's started to dry out in some colors are mixed and yeah it's just like not the freshest now so I bought this this was literally like two or three pounds and you get six different colors and it's glitter play-doh as well which is exciting I actually think some were scented maybe I should have picked up scented ones it really doesn't matter but anyway glitter play-doh kind of all your standard colors it's got a unicorn on it so is it more aimed at girls I don't know it really doesn't matter because it is play-doh um so yeah i'll throw out our old stuff and that's just like a good little stocking filler or under the tree probably an under the tree present to be honest because it's quite large in size and his stocking isn't huge next color catchers these are not the branded ones these are just the home bargains ones they're like 99p that was on my list of things to get so tick <laughs> is that everything oh do you know what guys that is everything and i'm ending it on a second box of nappy sacks <laughs> Woo! don't tell me that i don't show you fun things um yeah they had loads of halloween bits in and christmas stuff but honestly i have so much seasonal stuff and i really want to get all of it down honestly like i want to get down my easter stuff my halloween stuff my christmas stuff i want to get it all down and organize it and sort it and like have a clear out and whatever um who knows if i'll get the time to do that obviously being a mum of a well i was gonna say a newborn i don't even think he's classed as a newborn anymore guys he is nine weeks old little otis and yeah i, I can't even talk about that the fact that i don't have a newborn already like time is cruel isn't it like it is a thief like Oh my god i heard a knock in and i thought someone was knocking on the car um but anyway who knows if i'll get time to do that but i definitely want to get like when ollie gets the halloween stuff down um 
I just want to have a look at what we've got before I like consider buying anything else we don't really need anything else it does end up being like clutter but you know never say never do you know what I do like to it to treat myself to is a little festive candle so I think I'll be heading to TK Maxx or HomeSense soon to get myself a little pumpkin candle because that's nice anyway I'm gonna go because Ollie is at home waiting for me to watch Desperate Housewives <laughs> <laughs> um, and I want to quickly run into Audi to get a couple of bits so yeah thank you so much for watching I'm sorry if this was a bit of a weird one I don't know I just really want to get back into vlogging making videos and I'm really enjoying it I've been doing the obviously had the Haven vlogs which aren't up yet but they probably will be by the time you see this one um, I had a little fave video go up the other day and I think I am just going to have to start filming when I can, when I fancy it, when I'm in a jolly enough mood to. Because let me tell you, mumming too is um, it's a ride. <laughs> I do actually feel like we finally kind of found our feet with it. And um, having a lot more up days than down days and like a lot more just, yeah, happy normal days than struggle days. But the struggle days are still there, so... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you very, very soon with another video. Who knows what it will be? Hopefully a vlog. I really just love vlogs, but they're kind of time consuming and it is hard to vlog with two kiddos. I know plenty of people do it. Hats off to them. I am not that good. <laughs> okay, love ya, bye. <laughs>